Welcome back everyone to some more Fallout 4. I'm over here hanging out with some Brotherhood of Steel as they did some fighting. I'll get somebody I didn't really pay attention to. I just let them have their fun. And I said last episode we'll come back and do some more actual like fighting instead of just building stuff. Plus I need some more time to gather up more supplies. So we're going to go this way because I do have this mission over here at Croup Manor for the Green Top Nursery so we can uh, let them... You know, move in. Okay, Croup Manor. Oh, and it's ghoul, so I don't have to worry about, like, anybody sniping at me. Oh, and there goes the Brotherhood fighting again. Why can't they just come over this way and help me out here? I did get me a new weapon. I got a little plasma sniper rifle that turned out to look pretty decent. Let's test it out. My Vats is still really bad on aim, for the most part. He's not dead. He's good enough that dog meat should be able to handle him. Oh, yeah. This is not that bad. Not as good as the explosive machine gun, though. Considering uh, they're, they're up close and quickly able to get to me. All right, that one's alive. The other one, the sitting one, is not. Man, I did just kind of blow his head off. Oh! You, uh, you surprised me. He's like, I'm not giving up. Ooh, something called Daddy-O. Oh, they're just jumping from up top. That's what's going on. There we go. Bye-bye. Oh, look. Vats worked perfectly fine that time. Okay, this looks totally safe. Bedroom key. Okay. Putrid glowing one, and he's not waking up. I wonder if I'm going to, like... You know what? I think I'm just going to sneak attack him like this. Yeah, well, sneak. Wait, it says detected. But he's not doing anything. If he's detecting me, why is he not doing anything? Yep, alright. Dog meat, get in the way. Haha, <laughs> perfect. You knew exactly what to do, just to stand in the way. And he's not very bright. Oh, finally he made it down the stairs. Oh, come on, right there. There we go. That's why the uh, machine gun works much better. All right, basement key. So I guess the basement is where all the, the really good stuff is located, right? Legendary. And he's mutated. What? What, dog meat? Why are you running away? supposed to actually protect me ah well wow, that really does not work very well unless you are sniping with it so yeah <laughs> ooh explosive minigun I'm loving the explosive bullets with the uh, the machine gun so yes absolutely going to take that one all right here we go in the basement which has power and good lighting like did somebody actually survive down here uh, apparently not the water's spraying everywhere yeah reaver okay uh you know what let's not worry about healing yeah we'll actually do this we're gonna go with Oh, 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 that's going to burn through ammo so fast, but wow, that was like a, that was a ravenous ghoul. Oh, 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 oh. 
I might burn through ammo very quickly with this, but I think I found my new favorite heavy weapon. And oh, I got something else legendary. But man, that just tore through a legendary ghoul like it was nothing. All right, what else do we have down here? Uh, Theodore Croup. Mm, Three-piece suit, okay. Uh, looks like, I guess, the ghouls got inside rather than them turning to ghouls. Nothing special there. All right, he's got his terminal. Let's check everything else first. Make sure battery. No, get out of the way, dog meat. I swear I need to replace you with somebody else. Got it. Uh, that's not that bad, but it's not great either. Oh, so I come out and here's another ghoul. Just decide to sit here, not even doing something. It doesn't even notice me. Oh, ho, ho. yes, yes, yes. That is what I'm talking about. And now I have secured the Croup Manor workshop. So that really didn't yield much in terms of supplies from there, but at least I could talk to this person and say, hey, I done. You're free to go. Yes. I cleared that place out. There you go. Should be safe. That's interesting. I don't get the like choices on this one. It's just like, yeah, you're good to go. Feel free to use our workshop. Okay. I'm glad to count you as a friend. All right, cool. So use your workshop here. Yes. Okay. And so I didn't get one. I got two places. And what's funny is it shows two people here. And two people there, so either they are about to use it for both sides, or they're abandoning one. But okay, that means I've got that going. I'll just need to get some more people here, and then start, uh, you know, connecting the dots again. Okay, so this should be the cannery. We've also got a boat right there. I'm assuming might be something on the boat, maybe, but not sure. I see a way to get back up here too easily. Let's go just check out everything here. Uh, doesn't look like anything's on the outside about to attack me. No raiders, no mean people of any sort, no ghouls. Okay. Okay. Okay, so they're, they're canning food. And this is some kind of, uh, you know, yeah, trader, Riley. Oh. Talk about people getting yeah, uh, that's the problem. The I'm taking the, the, the hats, the caps, because you're not worried about it. I got fishing rods. Just don't think I could go use them for anything. I'm only selling, the meat you people bring me. selling the meat people bring you? Ooh, maybe I can hook you up. It's your own damn fault. Oh, so now it's my fault? Uh-huh. Forget it, the deal's off. You brought them some you rotten meat. The people out there? Then you can get out there and do it your damn Okay. What? Ramen meat. I know that. Fine. Leave. Empty can, potty meat, potty meat. I, I can sell you some good product. Sure. Uh-huh, that's how you end trade negotiations. Uh, what's the up? Not interested, sure, maybe, and... I just say silent. Might be. Let's see what you've got. A great price for a great product. Okay. Oh, so okay. I I can take his scavenger outfit. <laughs> Potted meat. Value fifty. Yeah, bad on the rads. He's got some Meyer Lurk. Meyer Lurk is actually better, really, on the rads than that. Just not by much on the the health value. No, but you know what? I might have some stuff I can sell you. You want? You want to buy? Yeah, all the stuff I just took from your display cases. I'm going to. I'm willing to sell it back to you. You know, I just took all this stuff out of your display cases. You know what? Hey, you can have here. I'll sell you some bloat fly meat. How about that? We'll, we'll be nice. We'll throw you in something to help with your stockpile. All right. So now let's do the actual story thing. Ah, here we go, finally. Wachowski. Wachowski. 
You don't really look all that long necked. Uh huh. What about people getting sick? Yeah. I want to ask about that. Uh huh. He's getting defensive. His eyes look a little red, too. Uh huh. Looking to try it for yourself? Uh, I'm, I think I'm gonna stay away from it right now. Been some more rats that got into the machinery. I mean, a couple of cans, but probably just uh, didn't get sealed. Uh huh. Spoiled. But, but I, I, I swear to you, I that's not, not a, a single mole rat. I bet we're gonna go in there and clear some mole rats out. That's all this is going to be. Single mole rat near the machine. Yeah. Except on the cutting table. Uh -huh, of course. Yeah, I put some mole rat in there. Best of everything. Yeah. We buy old cans and the best meat the Commonwealth. Has, mm -hmm. So we can offer the finest product on the market. All right, he's still trying to sell. To take a he's a true salesman. You know, he's like, how about this? How about I look around? Boy, you are. Well, I bet you work up quite uh -huh. appetite traveling. Inspect the cannery, okay? I might be able to take care of that. All right. Really? Yeah, I'm just gonna speed through this. He's taking too long. Alright, there we go. So he already paid me. I don't even have to do anything now. I could just be like, forget it, dude. You're on your own. I wish I got this stuff earlier. I would have sold it to him too. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. I'm just gonna get everything out of here that you are obviously not worried about me taking, and I'm just gonna come back and sell it to you. Uh what happens if I push the button? I pushed the button. I'm not sure what, but I just want to see what happens. And I feel like this is where I'm going to run into some problems. Some secret mole rats hiding back here. Uh, well, dead body back here. Uh, think you don't need your pillows anymore. I'll take the pillows. How about that? Oh, there's another button over here. This one opens up too. While I'm here, let's go up to this other control area. I'm assuming... Yeah, it should just open and go right in here. Oh, terminal, okay. Sleepy bag, so we know where he's staying, at least. Sniffing that wonder glue up here. Workbench. Oh! Barter bobblehead! Awesome! Better price permanently and benefits of child labor. Of course, that's, you know, something you definitely want. So that gives me better prices when buying from a vendor. So two of the same things back to back. Uh, some of that might be okay, but probably not. Makeshift battery, yeah, uh, taking that. Got it. All right, here we go. Open door. And what we get? What do we get? Move, dog meat. Move. Short combat shotgun. That's it. Like no, no specialty to it. You, you're like you're like I'm seriously going to lock this up, but have these other weapons that are better in this chest over here. It's not locked at all. All right, let's check out this other one. Ooh. Uh, so this is where he keeps his stockpile of potted meat. Hey, dog meat, go up there and uh, close the door. Let me steal all this. That way, uh, you know, he can't see me doing it. Okay, so there's a door here that's chained on the other side. So obviously I'm not going in that way. Oh! Now I see it. Push the button. Oh, oh, wait, don't wait. Yo, yeah, don't leave without me. Uh-oh. Uh, local elevator controls disabled by system administrator. Great. Okay. Door open. Terminal. Let's look at the terminal then. Well, ghouls back here. So it could be more than just the mole rats that are the problem. Yeah, you just, you know, bark at them. 
dog meat. That's all you got to do. You don't have to do anything else. Just bark at him. I'll take care of it. Oh, no. Here we go. Oh, so glad I found this gun. Ah, ha, ha. This is so much easier. Okay. Hey, you. Pull your leg off. Ah, that's what you get. Uh, gun, okay. I'm assuming he used it on himself, or she used it on herself. Couldn't be as simple as just some mole rats, could it? Oh yeah, that interesting look to, uh, water-based explosions. Ah! Uh, yeah, let's blow your leg off. Oh, hoo -hoo. I love how much more of an explosion you get with the water. Oh, there's definitely a glowing one in there. Uh. Uh, let's switch weapons real quick. I brought the explosive minigun for a reason. Ah ha ha. Ooh, wow. You just go swimming all the way along through here into a little other area. Okay. Oh, some kind of secret stash. Nice. Oh, kind of the same thing. You know, a lot of ammo, not very much else in terms of use. Oh. Ho, ho. Oh. Did I get him? Oh, somebody's attacking. Hey, you can't move! Dog beat, you can handle yourself. Thin beaker. Not sure what the difference between a regular beaker and a thin beaker is in terms of, you know, thickness. Apparently, I can just eyeball it. I can't even see this ghoul. It's just there. No, I didn't want to drink the water. Don't drink the water. Oh. All right, we're going back to the explosive minigun. I want to see how this works when they come pouring up the stairs. So let's wait till they get up. Oh, oh. Putrid glowing one. He looks muscular too. Oh. Oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. This is my favorite gun now. That's a legendary Wither Ghoul. He's dead. Or almost dead. He has no arms and no legs. He's just like, I'm still gonna bite ya. Oh, crap. It just made him glitch down into like the water level. There we go. I can get it. Bat enhanced machete. Okay, so, uh, fork in the road. It's red. It was going to target me. I'm assuming this, like, maybe he put it there, or maybe it's just been here and they decide to avoid it for some reason. Maybe it was there and then he decided just to collapse the, the little, you know, cave in there, cause that, so they would, would not get through. Make an infusion core. Okay, um... Um, ow. Oh, why he would put the mine there? Oh. Okay. Oh, and I'm back here in this spot. Trip wire or trip laser thing. I apparently cannot. There we go. All right. So I can jump down that way. Let's see where. Oh. Okay, I am missing traps left and right apparently, but he's got protection going this way. So obviously there's something up here Maybe another Access point to the roof. Hey Something just started blowing up randomly behind me Oh, I've got 
I guess more, uh... Oh, so we know the truth now. He's been... He knew about the ghouls. He's been using the ghouls. That's why he locked me down there. I told All right. You to stay out of the basement. Oh. Now that you know my little secret. Oh. So now he's going to try to kill me, huh? Oh. Did I get both of them? Yes, I blew up like the little... The little engine thruster area, and bam, both of them went down. What are you shooting at? Are you sh I guess he's shooting at dog meat. That, or he's trying to blow up the terminal so I, I can't find out anything else? No? You sick man using ghoul meat to uh, poison all your customers? All right. So I'm back here at Diamond City Market now, so I can sell a lot of stuff I've gathered in this episode. And right here, not too far away, is Vault 81. So I'm thinking that will be our target for next episode. Let's go there, check it out, see what we get from it. And in the meantime, I'm going to do some more exploring because there is a certain element of the game I want to get that I have not been able to get started yet. It requires me to complete a quest and then some other small quests. But I'm going to try to get that going so I can have that going soon. But that's going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week and I will see you in the next video.